Hey guys, I'm Dwayne Soap here. Welcome back to the channel. Now, today I want to talk about iOS 16.3. After the filming of this video, the software will be released within the next three to four days. And Apple has basically confirmed this by saying that iOS 16.3 will be released next week. They said that this week when releasing the RC, the release candidate, which is what I'm running here on this device, is basically the same software that you'll get in about three to four days after the filming of this video. And of course, in this video, I wanted to share with you guys some of the latest bugs and issues that I've encountered so that you know before you update to iOS 16.3. Now we can expect this software to release anywhere between January 23rd through the 25th. We'll have to wait and see when Apple decides to officially release the software. But without further ado, let's go ahead and get to some of the things you should know before you update to iOS 16.3. Now, as always, if you would like to stay up to date with the latest iOS news and Apple software updates, of course, don't forget to subscribe and make sure you turn on those notifications so that you don't miss another episode. Now iOS 16.3 has a lot of great new features and improvements, but in this video we'll talk about some of the bugs and issues within the software. As I mentioned, I'm running the RC, the official final release release candidate before it is released. So the first thing I want to talk about is some issues with the lock screen notifications. Now if you have an iPhone on iOS 16.3, you might encounter double notification. So this is a thing, right? So if you have the emails application on your iPhone, which all of us do by default, and you get an email you may get a double notification for that particular email. It also happens with messages. I've seen it happen with third-party applications as well. And this can make your lock screen a bit crowded and confusing. So if you see this on 16.3, don't be surprised. A double notifications for a particular application is a bug within 16.3. Next, I want to shift my attention over to the camera because for some reason, the camera oftentimes just crashes on me on iOS 16.3 when I go to launch it, just like that. Let's go ahead and try that again. So when I go to launch the application here, the camera application on my iPhone, sometimes it would crash. You see that? I did it again twice here in a row in less than 30 seconds. So it sometimes crashes on me. There's just a few bugs. Sometimes it would freeze on me as well. iPhone 14 Pro Max. And also images, in case you didn't know, images are still being over-processed on iOS 16.3. So image quality just still is an issue with iPhone 14 Pro and 14 Pro Max on iOS 16.3. Just note that the camera app may freeze on you, may crash crash on you and don't expect any better quality image quality for the iPhone 14 lineup on iOS 16.3, unfortunately. Next, I want to shift my attention over to screen time. Now, for those parents out there, be aware, screen time is broken on iOS 16.3. So if you use screen time to monitor and control someone's device, sometimes screen time would randomly shut off on its own. So if you have screen time enabled, it would turn off on its own. So keep an eye out because if you're monitoring for someone in your family's device, then screen time may randomly shut off on you without you even knowing. No warning. I've now, I, I did mention this to Apple several times and uh, they haven't fixed it as of iOS 16.3 RC. So just keep that in mind for those parents out there. Now, next, let's talk about charging because I've seen several weird reports that some iPhones will refuse to actually charge and some devices would just stay at 80%. So if you plug in your iPhone at night and you wake up with 80% on iOS 16.3, then just be aware that it looks like there's an issue with optimized battery battery charging, which is the feature that allows your iPhone to charge up to 80% and then do the other 20% right before you wake up so that you have 100% before you pick up your device in the morning. So it sort of learns your patterns, but it looks like there's an issue because I've seen multiple reports of iPhones at 80% when customers pick them up in the mornings to go about their day. So it looks like optimized battery charging isn't triggering the extra 20% charge before customers pick up their iPhones in the mornings. And some iPhones weirdly are just refusing to charge entirely. Now, the last thing I would like to talk about is battery on the iPhone 14 Pro Max and the iPhone 13 Pro Max, which are the two devices that I've been using for the last couple of days. Now, it sucks that I have to report this, but iOS 16.3 does not improve the battery from iOS 16.2. Now, this is my day from yesterday. As you can see right there, I got into the red, which in my opinion, honestly, I felt like the RC made the battery on my iPhone worse than it was in iOS 16.2. Yes, I'm really sorry to mention this, guys, but the battery just isn't as good as it was before with previous devices on previous OSs. Now, I did charge my device completely this morning. We'll see how today goes, but for the last three days that I've had iOS 16.3 on this device and on my primary device, the 13 Pro Max, the battery isn't better 
than it was before. Unfortunately, I hate to break the news to you guys, but there you guys have it. These are a few things you should know before you decide to update to iOS 16.3. Again, Apple could be releasing the software in the next three to four days on the week of the 23rd of January. Thank you for watching, guys. I hope you guys have a great day, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.